Uh, am I audible to all of you? Yes, sir. Okay, Aisha. Okay. So today we are going to have some basic classes of the chemistry, and then we will start the <clears throat> main chapter of NEET of class twelve. Okay. So basics of uh, basics of chemistry. Me, I'm gonna uh, start this physical chemistry of mole concept. Okay. So both of you are aware of number of moles, right? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Can anyone tell me what is the number of moles? Ah, uh, the formula for the number of moles. Mass by molar mass. Given mass upon molar mass. <clears throat> also, there are three ah uh, more formula ah uh, formulas for this number of moles. Calculation of number of moles. The first one is given mass upon molar mass, which will be very very important at its uh, as it. it is used almost as at every stage and then the number of moles has a formula given number of particle upon avogadro number and everyone knows that what is avogadro number avogadro number is equal to 6.022 or 6.023 <clears throat> any one of them you can pick into 10 raised to the power 3 this is the value of avogadro number and the last formula for number of moles is given volume upon molar volume so basically this molar volume has a value 22.4 liter or either you can use 22.7 liter it will not affect your answer both are correct so basically this moles if you don't get it what is number of moles so we can easily relate this with dozen to understand this moles so i think everyone knows what dozen is dozen means basically 12 right yes or no yes sir no. so whenever you are going to calculate number of dozen number of dozen so what you do actually whatever is the number of particles or number of anything number of particles or number of anything divided by 12 divided by 12 this is how we calculate number of moles uh, sorry number of dozen in the same way to calculate the number of moles the first formula is given mass upon molar mass and if you are going to divide this by molar mass that means basically one mole is equal to molar mass one mole is equal to molar mass as you can compare this with this because you know that one dozen equals to 12 and if you want to calculate the number of dozen you are going to divide it by 12 in the same way if you want to calculate number of moles and in the first formula you can see you are going to divide it by molar mass that means one mole is equal to molar mass also number of moles is equal to given number of particle upon avogadro number and here one mole is also equals to avogadro number the number which uh, from which we divide is actually is equal to one mole and also you can see molar volume and here you can see molar volume is also equals to 1 mole 1 mole is equal to 22.4 liter or either you can take 22.7 liter so <clears throat> basically we have three formulas for calculation of number of moles is that clear so i'm going to just give you some questions to calculate this okay yes sir okay so <clears throat> calculate number of moles in pollen
So <clears throat> according to the requirement, you can use the formula and let me know the answer. And then I'll take the note. Please do it. Any answer for the first one? Uh, 0 0.1 volt. Very good. <clears throat> so this is equal to number of moles is equal to given mass upon molar mass. Why we use this formula? Because uh, of all the three formulas, if you can see, the first formula was for given mass upon molar mass. The second formula is for number of uh, given number of particle upon Avogadro number and the third formula is given number of particle upon Avogadro number. So you can see that only the, here mass is given. So we can use this formula given mass upon molar mass and given mass is 2.3 gram and molar mass of sodium atom. So you know that it is 23. So it will be 0 0.1 mole. Is that clear? Uh, Aisha, yes, have you got the answer? Yes, sir. Okay, tell me the answer for the second one, Aisha. So one minute. Oh, one minute. Okay, take your time. Rabia? 0 0.01. Yeah, very good. So again, the mass is given. So you can see number of moles is equal to, again, we are going to apply this formula, given mass upon molar mass. And given mass is 1.42. Uh, what is the molar mass of this Na2SO4? Rabia? 142. Okay, very good. Aisha, are you able to calculate the molar mass? Yes, sir. Okay, if, yeah. <clears throat> both of you, if any one of you are uh, facing problem in calculating the molar mass, just let me know. So you can see this is the molar mass of Na2SO4, which is one. 42 and if you are going to remove this decimal you are going to divide it by 100 because after decimal you have two digits so one double zero it will be and you can see one by 100 mole or either you can write 0 0.01 mole that's great very good <clears throat> so yes so for calculating uh, the volume, like the volume mole, molar thing, when the volume is given, uh, do we take the volume in liters or milliliters? Like will it be specified? See, yeah, very good question. You can see this is 11.2 ml of HCl is given. That means basically volume is given. So you are going to apply this formula. You have understood till this, right? Uh, for given volume upon molar volume. Now you can see molar volume has a value 22.4 liter right yes or no yes sir and you can see the given quantity is in milliliter so what you need to do is very simple either you are going to convert this 22.4 liter into ml or either you can convert this given volume into liter are you getting my point both should be in same quantity a same unit so you can see uh, if you are going to divide uh, convert this into uh, mm, liter so you need to multiply it by 10 raised to the power minus 3 or divide it by 1000 that will be the same scenario 10 raised to the power minus 3 and you can calculate this like this 
okay so 11.2 into that will be 22.4 and you can see 1 by 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 mole or either you can write 0 0.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 mole or either you can write it like 5 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 mole so basically according to the option you can to, uh, you can modify your answer are you getting my point rabia aisha yes, yes. Very good. Uh, mm -hmm. so, so for the volume molar, uh, for the molar volume, we yes. take the molar mass, right? Or uh, molar volume. Uh, what did you ask? Like, molar volume. Yeah, sir. The molar volume. So, like, we take it uh, as same as the molar mass, or is there a different way to calculate? No, no. Uh, the molar uh, volume. What I was telling you is that uh, just listen me carefully and then again <clears throat> ask your question if you haven't got it. If mass is given, then you are going to apply this formula given mass upon molar. And molar mass that will be changing according to the compound, right? Like CO2 will have other molar mass, uh, um, different molar mass than CO, than CAO. Are you getting my point? And if volume is given, then you are going to apply the uh, given volume upon molar volume and this molar volume is fixed are you getting my point 22.4 liter or 22.7 liter you can take it okay sir got it thank you <clears throat> okay please do question number d Everyone done with this. What is the answer for the last one? <clears throat> Any answer, Aisha? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Aisha, any answer for the last one? This one. You can see number is given. So you are going to apply given number of particle upon a bogey number. So 0 0.5 into 10 raised to minus 2. Oh, very good, Aisha. 6.022 you can take into 10 raised to the power 23 this will be cancelled by 1 by 2 and you can see 0 0.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 or 5 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 yes or no yes sir now see i'm gonna ask you a very <clears throat> easy question if i will ask you five dozen tens i have bought can anyone tell me how many number of pen is there? How many pens are there? 
5 into 12 and you calculated it to be 60 tens. Very good. Now, if I will ask you 2 moles of sodium, how many number of atom or particle? See, 1 mole is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 atoms ions or etc species any species so if i'm gonna ask you two mole of sodium is there how many number of atom is there how many number of atoms of sodium if you have two mole of sodium then how many number of atom of sodium is there so what you are going to do 2 into 6.02 into 10 raised to the power 23 because you know that 1 mole is equal to this much quantity. Are you getting my point, yes, Rabia? Sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm going to take uh, PYQs of this. Uh, what we say? PYQs of uh, NEAT and that has been asked in 2020, which is very, very similar to this concept. And I think you have seen this before. So are you able to see the question? Yes, sir. Oh, thank you. Good. Just wait a minute, please. Now you can do that. Which one of the following has maximum number of atoms? So for atoms, you need to calculate the number of moles and number of moles. If you have calculated, then it uh, multiply it with Avogadro number and you will get it. Any answer? Yes. 
so is the option C. No, uh, is option C. No, uh, who said that? Aisha or Rabia? Rabia. Okay. <clears throat> so first you calculated the number of moles. Given mass, mass is same. One gram upon molar mass, one by twenty-four. <clears throat> and for the second one, one upon sixteen. Uh, atomic mass is O, but it is O two, so the it will be one by thirty-two. And the, for the third one, one upon seven. And the, for the four, uh, fourth one, one by zero. This is the number of moles. This is the number of moles. Now, if you want to calculate the maximum number of atoms, you have to multiply it by n. So the one which has maximum number of moles, the one which will have maximum number of moles, will be the one which will have maximum number of atoms it's very simple if i give you 2 mole and if i give you 5 mole if i will ask you which one will have maximum number of atoms this one because 1 mole is equal to na 2 mole is equal to 2 into na 5 mole is equal to 5 into na so the answer will be c very good aisha got it yes sir there is another question that i'm going to give you is from uh, uh, it has been asked in 2011 it is similar to the concept also i want to ask uh, which chapter is going on in your regular class yeah. so can you repeat uh, which chapter is going on in your uh, regular class सिमिलर इन क्लास ट्वेल्व and soon we are going to have the class 12 chapter like whatever you have registered it uh, whichever chapter you have completed i uh, will tell you before this class and you are going to do the revision and solving solution and electrochemistry uh, solution and electrochemistry are done okay okay so basically after two to three classes we are going to start class 12 chapters and i will tell you the topic you need to revise it with the formula and mainly in this class we are going to solve questions uh, up to j mains level so that we will uh, we will be able to cover the questions in neat so tyqs of neat and some standard questions we are going to do here so please please do this first no uh, let me know when you are done let me know when you are done
Uh, what is the answer, uh, Rabia? And Aisha? Option C is a good answer. What is the number of mouse that you have got for option C? Four. Right. For this, yes, if you sir. are going to calculate the number of moles, it will be 44 by 44. So one mole. And for this, 48 upon 48. For this, it is also one mole. And for this, it is also one. But for this, if you are going to calculate it by two, that will be equal to four moles. And you know, one mole is equal to Na. So four mole is equal to four Na. And all of, uh, except this C, A, B, D will have same number of molecules. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This question is quite good. Has been asked in 2010. Any answer for question number 10? So option B. Mm, option B. That's good. Good. Uh, what about you, Aisha? See, number of atoms we need to calculate. <clears throat> Zero point one mole of triatomic. So first, you are going to calculate the molecule number of molecules will be equal to whatever is the number of moles into na number of mole is given 0 0.1 into na that is 0 0.61023 into 10 raised to the power 23 and you can see that to calculate number of atoms always remember this to calculate number of atoms you are going to multiply mm -hmm. Whatever is the number of atoms present in the molecule into number of molecules. 
what i want to say is that if it is triatomic let's say an atom is triatomic that means it will have three atoms so you are going to multiply three into whatever is the number of molecules so number of molecule is 0.6 0.1 into 6.023 into 10 raised to the power 23 and accordingly you can calculate this so it will be what uh, just let me calculate it it will be equal to 0.1 into 6.023 so <clears throat> it will be 0 0.6023 into 10 raised to the power 23 and 3 is already there so if you are going to multiply it by 3 so it will be equal to 1.80 something into 10 raised to the power 23 so the answer will be very good Aisha <clears throat> so Rabia Aisha are you also done with this yes sir very good Please do question number 80. Now I'm covering almost every type of question that can be asked and that has been asked in your need. So you can easily do this. Yeah. So let me know when you are done. Uh, option B, 20, 18, uh, Option B or uh, option B? Did you say B? Yeah, B for ball, right? Very good. Any answer from you, Rabia? Maximum number of molecules, so you need to calculate the number of moles here. And here, the number of moles will be seven upon twenty-eight, so will, it will be equal to one by four. And again, here it will be two by two, so the number of moles here will be one. And here the number of moles will be 16 upon, you can see, uh, what is the molar mass of NO2? 14 plus 32. So it will be equal to 46 and you can see 16 by 32, that will be equal to 1 by 2. So the one with highest number of moles, that is H2. So the answer will be B. Highest number of moles will be, will have maximum number of molecules. Rabia. Yes, sir. Very good. So another type of question is here that is seen basically. It is slightly changed, but so these all are previous years question that you are able to solve. That's quite good.
<laughs> Any answer? So if it's uh, option A. Option uh, A. Who said that? Rabia and Aisha. Rabi. Rabi. Okay. Uh, option A and that's quite good. Very good. Now see how we basically calculate it. It's very simple. Number of oxygen atom we need to calculate. Whenever you are going to calculate i'm going to write a point here that, uh, that you need to keep it in mind and also write it whenever you need to calculate number of atoms first you are going to calculate number of molecules calculate number of molecules and then after getting the number of molecules you are going to uh, how to calculate number of atoms of particular or all atoms, what you need to do. This number of molecules I'm going to donate it by N. You are going to multiply this number of molecules with the number of atoms present in that. With the number of atoms present in that. <clears throat> Just I'm going to take an example of this. 4.4 gram of CO2. So 4.4 gram of CO2 is there. So first you are going to calculate the number of moles given mass 4.4. Upon molar mass 44. <laughs> so this is what you will get. 0 0.1 mole. <laughs> this is what you will get. In order to calculate the number of atoms, first you are going to calculate number of molecules. So how you are going to calculate number of molecules? It will be equal to number of moles into Na. Na is basically, you know that Na is 6.02 or 2 into 10 raised to the power 23 and you can see you will be getting 0 0.602 into 10 raised to the power 23 molecules. Now if you want to calculate number of oxygen atom you are being particular for a specific for oxygen number of oxygen atoms. So how many oxygen atoms are there only two oxygen atoms. So you are going to multiply this number of atoms into the number of molecules and you will be getting 1.2 into 10 raised to the power 23 and hence the answer is correct. If the question has been asked what is the number of atoms in CO2? So if you are going to calculate number of atoms that means total number of atoms in the compound. So you have three number of atoms total. You can see two oxygen atom and one carbon atom and then you are going to multiply it by number of Molecules. Are you getting my point? <clears throat> yes. <sir. clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Do you know uh, this question which I'm going to give you is very important and the term is very important. Uh, can you change the slide? Yes, sir. Okay. Just do it a minute. This question is very important. And let me know if you are able to solve this or <clears throat> Uh, will you be able to solve this?
Okay, I'm going to explain. See. So you need, do you know one mole can be written as one gram atom or molecules? This is very important. This term is very important. If it is, it has been written one gram atom or one gram molecule, this gram molecule or gram atom basically represent mole. Are you getting my point? Rabia, Aisha. Yes, sir. So what I want to tell you is that you are already aware of mole, but this term gram atom and gram mole, it has been used very less. So we are not aware of this, but you have to keep this in mind. Whenever I'm going to write two gram atom, basically I'm talking, uh, I'm telling you two mole or two gram molecule, that means basically two mole. Whenever gram comes, that means it is mole. So you can see uh, the number of gram molecules, you can see the number of gram molecules, that means the number of moles of oxygen in 6.02 into 10 raised to the power 24 CO molecules. So what you need to do, number of moles is equal to, you can see this is the number, so given number upon Avogadro number, given number is 6.02 into 10 raised to the power 24 and Avogadro number is, you know, that 0 0.2 into 10 raised to the power 23. So what you will get, you will get 10 mole and this 10 mole can be written as 10 gram atom or gram molecule according to the requirement. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the answer is A. So this concept you need to uh, take this in your short notes because uh, right now you just know it and after a while, after some while, uh, you will forget it. So please uh, highlight this point, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, so this is it for today. I'll see you in the next class. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Thank you, sir.